Hello and welcome to this video on Waterbeast TV. My name is George, uh, as you might know, and I'm here in York train station because um, heading away. There, to uh, all the way to Glasgow uh, Central Station. Stopping at Durham. Defined. That didn't go very well. <laughs> Defined David Tap. This out here is Edinburgh and so in Scotland. Follow the train down. David Tap. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hello. So we're now in Edinburgh, we're going to go down to Glasgow and David's here doing some marking yeah, yeah. of some solutions and here's some, uh, yeah, some yeah. sign curves. Some, some guy here had lost his thighs Ooh, dear. and replaced him with feeders. Oh dear. That's lost a uh, mark no. or two. <laughs> and do we have some integration by substitution? We do. We, I'm just going to go on to market now and... Uh... <laughs> Welcome to Glasgow! <laughs> Brilliant! So we're now here in Glasgow. Um, we want to get to our hotel and from that we have no further plans. Uh, we do. We're going to go partying. Yeah. In Scotland. That's what David Tapp says. I say tomorrow night, but we'll see. We'll see. We've made it into the hotel room. Here we are. So this is our one star luxury. <laughs> Has two beds. Has like a sort mirror. of mirror, wardrobe, yeah, nice TV set, uh, and a sink. Doesn't have an uh, ensuite or anything. But... Tea and coffee, yeah, tea and coffee, beautiful. And uh, when we got out of the station, this uh, Scottish man immediately helped us out he to did, help he us did. find where we were going, which was really cool. So much appreciated, uh, appreciative of him. Though so, that's me in the background, cool, right? Um, see you in a bit. It's now Saturday, um, we are still in Glasgow. We do plan to be in Glasgow for the entirety of this video, surprisingly. Um, David is here, and behind uh, we have the, uh, the Glasgow... Um, what's it called? It's the Museum of Modern Art. The Gallery, the Gallery, the Gallery, yeah, Modern Gallery of Modern Art. Thank you, Tap. And um, it was really good inside, actually. There's some, really, some really good installations about um, the chain reaction video video about uh, other cultures uh, in Asia so fantastic enjoy that so um, it's now raining a little bit we're gonna head on and see what else we can see we were walking along a major stop in the street and we saw this in the distance we came up closer it's a former hospital but now we're not entirely sure what it is yeah. this building is to let so it's not that exciting uh, but we have noticed this which kind of looks a bit like a square with arches and Oh, towers and things. Yeah, so. let's go and investigate. We have no plan at all. Um, just keep investigating. <laughs> Spontaneous. Yeah. Let's... Because we don't have a map, we're not sure what this building behind uh, is. Um, we have no idea at all. Um, it would be useful to have a map. It would it? be. Yeah. Where, where's the point of that? We're kind of just wandering around. But behind, they are praising, uh, praying the rosary uh, for Scotland um, to solve um, Scotland's key problems, uh, these people behind are playing the most way to seek assistance in that regard. Hello, we're now in Green Park. Uh, David oh, Sovey, it's called Green Park. I'm maybe, not sure. Maybe so not. So if it all isn't correct, then we'll, well, we'll uh, edit it. Well, no, you'll be watching this still, I guess. But anyway, um, we came because of this People's Palace, which is in the back there, looking like a greenhouse. And here is Nelson's Column. Let's head towards the palace and see what's inside. Snap, we're in the greenhouse uh, in the People's Palace. Yeah. And yes. uh, you can see all the arches and metallic structures that hold uh, all the glass uh, up. Also up there you can see uh, the top of the palm trees um, and some more colourful plants down at the bottom. Also over here there is a, uh, a fish, a metallic fish, next to uh, a pond with a mean, little waterfall. Outside the largest terracotta fountain in the world here, and it um, depicts um, scenes from different parts of the Commonwealth. Here we've got India. Um, outside, still, of the 
People's Palace and uh, quite a few tourists have just come up because a uh, tourist bus over there it's now away, it dropped off. These people. So, David, we haven't discussed yes. the plan, so we're now going to have a bit of a confusing yeah, yeah. part of the video. Should we head back in? Head, what are we going to head back in for? <laughs> what else is there to see over here? Oh, back into Glasgow, yeah. city centre. Yes, okay. Yeah, so we're not back into the museum. <laughs> yes, uh, not back in there. Yes, let's go back to uh, where it all began. Um, start again from the station, maybe. Okay. Uh, yes. Cool. Good fun. See you in a bit. David, where are we? So we're currently in a nice little market area. I forget the name. It's called the uh, Bavers. Bavers. Yeah. The Outside Glasgow Cathedral, uh, there's a lot of work being done on the outside to make it look a bit better. Um, but it's very nice uh, in the interior as we have just been inside. Uh, David's just taken a photo of the outside. Um, good job. Yes, thanks. Uh, I think we're allowed to film out here. <laughs> uh, I hope so, anyway. Um, we're heading over a bridge and up to that part. I don't really know what it is, but we'll tell you when we get there. So, ciao for now. Bye. That thing is the Glasgow uh, Macropolis. Uh, I think I've got the pronunciation correct there. And uh, basically, it's, it's a cemetery, but on a hill, and there's quite a lot of large tombs, like the one behind, and even large statues. Uh, we're looking down on Glasgow. Uh, the whole city and towards the Clyde uh, down that way get a good view and good feel of uh, how large Scotland's uh, biggest uh, city is in terms of population Scotland hasn't felt particularly Scottish since we've been here I mean it's been Glasgow is a really nice vibrant city but it hasn't felt so Scottish however having to talk loudly over this Scottish music kind of puts it back in perspective so Bagpipes, drums, contemporary with a really kind of like old, edgy twist. Don't like it? Yeah. yeah. I'm actually currently on a, I can't talk now, <laughs> but I'm actually on Tuesday Watch at the minute. Okay. Uh, we're thinking the fashions are changing and we need to be in uh, touch with the young ones. So uh, I'm actually watching them walk by, which is a bit weird. But uh, I'm Have you seen many? On. Yeah, there's one over there. That's two. <laughs> oh yeah. Do we? Okay, so it is it is on the increase, which is concerning. Uh jeans are no longer well, the, the, the case. A trend maybe, but yeah. I don't I don't think there's many people doing this. If you want to stop uh, doing this. Let's keep going. <laughs> it is now dark, as you can see. Um not a lot in terms of videoable Entertainment has happened, uh, but we went out to get dinner and it's quite a nice walk, quite a long walk in some ways, but we found a nice Chinese restaurant. We did, yeah. And we did it was nice. really good. So David, what did you have? Uh, I had, to start them, I had uh, spicy chicken wings, and then for the main it was a uh, lemon chicken with white rice. Cool. Um, yeah, so it was nice and enjoyable. I had a uh, prawn cocktail as starter and uh, duck in plum sauce as the main and also had fried rice. Uh, we also kind of walked around uh, kind of near to where the uni is yeah. and past some of the, the buildings there. Uh, so now we're heading towards uh, some sort of pub, just want to have a drink. Uh, so unless there's something exciting between then, uh, that's us for the day and we will see you tomorrow. Farewell. Bye. It's a new day in Glasgow, a little wet. But we're going to head outside and see what we can see today. We're in the Botanic Gardens in Glasgow and we are in a class house which is uh, con which contains a lot of uh, killer plants and uh, yeah, killer plants that trap their prey. It's very interesting. I've just given David Tuff a bit of a lecture on um, jump edits. Uh, so you've just witnessed quite a smooth jump edit, uh, presumably, but um, <laughs> all those didn't turn out that way. Uh, so we have uh, concluded our time in the uh, Botanic Gardens, which were really good. 
and behind us is Amber Restaurant, which is where we ate last night. Excellent. Uh, but we didn't give you the name of the restaurant, so we're kind of updating that now. Uh, so if you ever, ever do come to Glasgow, we would definitely recommend that restaurant. It was good. We had the evening uh, kind of like two course special menu. So yeah. yeah. Really good. Cool. Um, we're heading towards Helen Grove Museum. Art Gallery and Museum. As um, recommended by Jenny for Claire Avery, yes. if you're watching. Hopefully you are, Jenny. And uh, so let's keep walking. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Jenny, we're here at the Kelling Grove Museum. Jenny, these are objects which have uh, birds as part of their central theme. Um, so this uh, is an arms dish, uh, dish uh, from around 1900, and it was designed and made by Margaret Gilmore. And you can see it's got kind of peacock uh, inspiration with these peacock colours. Also, there are quite a lot of birds uh, on poles here. <laughs> and um, artist, uh, artists use birds as a decorative device by simplifying the bird down to its essential forms of movement uh, during flight and you can see that in uh, these objects including those two uh, belt buckles at the end there. Jenny, one thing you didn't tell us was that if we came to the cafe um, they have these uh, amazing little things, which yeah, you can press so if you want urgent service, wait service, pay voucher, bill, cancel, child lock, and do not disturb. Incredible. <laughs> so yeah, Jenny, George doesn't believe that there is a proof that one is one. I remember that you were so excited about going to university and the first lecture being that one is one. I think you need to talk to George and prove that one is one. We are in many animals stuffed with stuffing. Um, I also touched some feathers of a bird back there, it wasn't very really nice. Uh, but yeah, prove it and uh, tell George. We're also discussing the big bag and uh, its origins and we're going through a little cycle now of uh, kind of not being able to explain things. So, uh, we're going to carry on the talk now, tour, tour, not tour, and uh, catch you later. This um, museum is very impressive in terms of the architecture, so there's a large organ, there's lights, golden and magnificent beautiful downstairs, nice courtyard, um, and a lot of people milling about, so, yeah, very impressive. Uh, we're a bit museumed out now though, uh, there's been a lot to see and a lot to take in, it's kind of quite hard to do all of that successfully. I'm not sure what we're going to do next. Coffee. Coffee next. Coffee. Here we are. We're in Cafe Nero. We've uh, nearly concluded our coffee session and almost forgot to film it. Um, <laughs> but at least we're in now. So the train's leaving in about, um, well, like over an hour and a half. Still got a while to kind of wait around. But see what we can do in the time. So this is our final hour, we're just in time, we get our train on the escalators the shopping centre, as you do. Hi, this is Paul Mitzlin, let's go. This is it. Hey, Marcus. We are leaving uh, Glasgow. Glasgow. So we're doing more marking <laughs> and being imitated by my comments about it. <laughs> come on, mark faster. Faster. Come on, faster. Shut up. Excellent. Excellent. I bet you didn't expect us to be here. Where are we? We are in Edinburgh! I really like it here. Um, it's very exciting. Um, so our train has stopped off for about 40 minutes. Has, uh, we had yeah, to do a change, yeah. so the, yeah. the train is at 7. It is. Um, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so a few minutes to sort of be outside. Enjoy. Down there is Waverley Station. Um, looking up towards the Royal Mile. And behind the trees, I'll, I'll run again. Make sure my bags don't get nicked. <laughs> We have there Edinburgh Castle. Excellent. This is it, the final chapter. Um, and our train was very dark outside. Um, but now on the train. Oh, there we go. Back Got East Coast Wi Fi now. Excellent. Back to Durham and York. Um, in summary, it's been really good. Yes, excellent. I yeah. say, not really good. Excellent. Uh, very nice weekend. Quite tired now, though. Um, hope you've enjoyed this um, on Wood Beast TV. From Dave, I'm George, Bye and see you next time. Bye. Bye.